Hello, what I foos. This is James, and Dark Signer Carly Carmine is a conundrum. She kills your normal summons. She kills your set cards with Fortune Lady Win. She kills your normal summons with several cards. Well, not kills them, but messes them up in a way that Gravekeeper's Vassal is not useful. She has a card that destroys your special summon monsters. How will we overcome her? We're going to use you bell i'm gonna use this deck that's right above my head and we're gonna be looking at some replays of me doing it now we can't do uh so i'm i have two that i'm gonna show you one is gonna be a little bit rough i know it's you don't always draw perfect and you don't always get the perfect setup and then the second one is like the op the most optimal farming run of carly carmine that you can have you can't use Fire King you bell because of Fortune Lady Wind destroying Fire King Island and messing up your farm. And you also need to dance around uh, Catalopus and the Bad Witch or whatever. And then because of Fortune, not Fortune Vision, but Fortune, anyway, the Fortune Field spell, you can't use Gravekeeper's Vassal because last turn you summon, you normal summon Gravekeeper's Vassal and then uh, he goes away. All right, so we're using uh, Ubel, and we did not open with either Yaksha or our dis uh, Disciple of Nephthys. So you have to set a card, and then, oh, thank God, we top deck in the Yaksha. Uh, and then now we can do our combo. Yaksha destroys Ubel, and then go, 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 Terran Carnage. But wait, hold on, look at this card. Catalopus and the Bad Witch. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can remove from play one monster with question mark attack from your graveyard. Destroy that special summon monster. That is the god cards. That is the fortune ladies, of which we are getting a lot of good ones. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, and then I guess also Solitaire Magician. All right, so now we have Ubel, Terra Incarnate. Uh, the opponent did not banish with Catalopas because it did not have the material in the graveyard. And also, the AI doesn't really read the cards. So, like, you're fine because it's a zero attack point monster, so it's, so it's fine. The, the uh, Carly lets it go through. Okay, our turn, and then we're just gonna... So that's... What we can do is we can set the, the, the defender of Nephthys, and then she can be destroyed by Ubel, Terra Incarnate, and then the following standby phase we can get a Disciple of Nephthys out of our deck, because once we, as, as, soon, as long as we have Terra Incarnate, we fear no evil. Okay, Future Vision, see, that's why you can't use uh, Gravekeeper's Vessel. Future Vision uh, banishes the uh, the thing, but then, oh, okay, you, know, you could normal summon Gravekeeper's Vessel on your second turn, but then what if you, what if Gravekeeper's Vessel is your last card, and it's just, it's, it's like, a, it's a mess. And you also, you want to get, with Ubel, Terra Incarnate, you want to be getting uh, her monsters off the field because she has Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Interdimensional Matter Transporter can keep uh, Catalopus and the Bad Witch alive uh, to, you know, mess up your special summons for many turns. So Ubel is the best option. She is the best. Uh, so we discard all of the Ultimate Nightmares. I'll explain this at the end. We discard all the ultimate nightmares as fuel for the montage dragon, and then we're gonna give her with the Sheen Spy. And then since we can't use Fire King Island, we're using Exile of the Wicked to destroy the Terra Incarnate. So it makes instead of a six-card combo, uh, we have like a seven. Oh no, I, I think the original one was like five or six cards. Now it's seven cards, but it really works. And then we attack into our own Mirage Dragio, and I did use. The, which one was it? Uh, they were both 9,600, it doesn't matter. So I did use the results booster, but we also have the campaign booster, so you don't need it, but if you don't want to use any of that, if you are pure, you'll need, I think, another, like, maybe 400 points of glossy on top of what I already had, which was, I think, zero. Uh, because when you special summon the Ubels, they don't count as a glossy point. Very, uh, it's very frustrating. Also, I was demoted to gold rank recently. Please don't make fun of me. I didn't realize the season was shortened. All right, anyway, so here is the the perfect run. The perfect run. One more thing. One more pitfall. 
Catalopus and the Bad Witch normal summoned on your last turn is death. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, if if she summons Catalopus, uh, and then you're going to go for the Mirage Dragon, obviously Catalopus is going to destroy the Mirage Dragon and destroy your win condition. So we open perfect. All right. Disciple of Nephthys destroys you, Bell, and adds a Defender of Nephthys to the hand. So the old Fire King farm deck had a little draw engine where you could destroy with the Fire King, get a Yaksha, and then get out, you know, get out more copies of you, Bell, from your deck. Uh, here's a, we're gonna go Yaksha, and then we can still do that here uh, with Defender of Nephthys destroyed, and then later destroys a Disciple, and then Yaksha, or Disciple can destroy another copy and get the second Terror Incarnate and now we have thinned our deck uh, Considerably and that is important because it reduces the chance that the last turn that you go for it You're going to have to deal with the Catalopus and the Bad Witch or not deal with it rather because we don't have a way of dealing with it We just have to hope that she doesn't play it uh, You know in the in the in the extreme late game All right so we're just, we're just keep waiting it out. Uh, you Bell Terror Incarnate. Uh, and then like all this back row is like when you declare an attack, banish your fortune lady. We don't have to worry about any of that. We don't have to worry about future visions as, as long as she doesn't open with it. As long as she doesn't open with future. Yeah, we don't want her to open with future vision and we don't want her to close with Catalopus and the Bad Witch. And in here, we could wait for one more card, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, we have maximum score. We're just going to go for it. Uh, and this is perfect because we were able to get multiple pulls out of our deck after we got our first U-Bell. After we got our first U-Bell, uh, we had Yaksha, we had Defender, we had like another Defender. And then so that's three cards out of our deck. And then the Yaksha, no yeah, because the Yaksha counts as one because that got out the Terra Incarnate. Anyway, uh, and then this was also a 9600. I am using the the results booster the results booster which i recommend uh the use of especially for these these uh these gate events where it's the number of points and then if you have more the uh the results booster gives you that number of points times a th it gives you the multiplier times a thousand extra points lets you get the character sooner uh Oh wait, these are these are just her rewards. Uh, her, so her rewards: Fortune Lady Light, Fortune Lady Earth, Fortune Lady Wind, and then the rest I wouldn't seriously worry about. But these are some pretty good Fortune Ladies. I thought we were gonna get the Fortune. Um, I thought we were gonna get the Fortune Fairies, but no, we're going straight into the meat of the matter. Uh, and then let us do that with our farm deck. So our farm deck is. Uh, is that easier to see? All right, so our farm deck is three Ubel Ultimate Nightmare, two Terror Incarnate, uh, three Ubel, one Montage Dragon. This is from Officer Tetsu Trudge. Uh, Ubel comes from the Rise of Ubel event, which is no longer available, but we've had multiple passes at it. Hopefully, you've had all your Ubels by now because they finally just made her drop the Ubel. Konami, Ubel is an important deck. Please put her at the gate. Please. Um, fire, uh, Yaksha and Nephthys are our destroys. Uh, Defender of Nephthys is needed because Disciple of Nephthys needs to search something. And then you can use it to destroy another Disciple from your deck, which is very good. Block the traps. Uh, destroy your own Transcendent Dragon Spirit to make her the ultimate nightmare. And then she and Spy gifting uh, the, the Montage Dragon. I like this farm lots because, as you know, you know, assuming that you draw perfect, assuming you get one of these, and then you know, one of these, you can just sit with this and hang out. But you are at the whims of fate, as is appropriate. And uh, don't forget to uh, duel her with Jack at least once. You can see some some exclusive dialogue and Jack's. Uh, uh, a rare moment of Jack's heartbreak showing a little bit of emotions. Now, I do intend for this to be another video. But uh, let's just take a quick 
Let's just have a quick little taste of what our Carly Carmine unlock will be. Like, you remember how busted Catalopus was? Remember how busted Catalopus and the Bad Witch was? How they how how are they gonna give us? Like, what if we had that card? We're getting that card. Ah! Thank you for watching.